Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your instructor for this MS 700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to manage phone system for Microsoft Teams. A resource account is a disabled user object in Azure Active Directory. It is used to represent objects other than users. For example, in Exchange, it can represent conference rooms and in Teams, it allows each conference room to have a phone number. Phone system call queues and auto attended must have at least one associated resource account in Microsoft Teams. Let me show you how to create resource account in Microsoft Teams Admin Center. You can go under Microsoft Teams Admin Center, go to org-wide settings, click on resource accounts. As of now, I don't have any details, but this is where you can come and create a new resource account. And you can select, is it a call queue or auto attended? With cloud call queues, you can add different feature for calling, such as a greeting message, music while playing, music while people are waiting on hold, redirecting calls to call agents in mail enabled distribution list and security groups, setting different parameters such as queue maximum size, timeout, and call handling options. Let me quickly show you where you can configure that. I'm in my Teams Admin Center, go under Voice and click on Call Queues. As you can see that I don't have any call queues available at the moment. Click on Add, give a name, and you can add an account or a resource account. Select the language, and you can select, do you want to add a greeting, or would you like to upload a audio file? Do you want to play music on hold or play an audio file? All of the queue related items can be modified and updated in this particular tab. Auto attendants enable both external and internal callers to use menu system to locate and place calls to users or departments in your organization. When people call a number that is associated with an auto attendant, their choices can redirect the call to a user or locate someone else in your organization and then connect to that user. Let me quickly go and show you where you would be able to add auto attendant with an existing resource account. I'm in my Teams Admin Center. Under Voice, you can click on Auto Attendance. Click on Add, give a name and select the details like who is the operator, a person in organization, voice app, or an external phone number, what time zone, and what sort of a language it is. The advanced settings, this is where you can add details like greeting information and where would you like to route the call next. Call flow will give you option to set your business hours, set up after our call flow, and then route the call details as well. This is where you would be able to upload your holiday call settings. You can add a resource account and assign phone number to the resource account here. Call Park, which is available in Teams only mode, enables a user to place a call on hold in Teams service in the cloud. For example, a user phone is running out of battery, so the user decide, so the user decides to park a call and then retrieve the call from Teams desk phone. To park and retrieve calls, a user must be an enterprise voice user, and an administrator must grant the user a call park policy. So let me quickly show you how to enable a call park policy in Teams Admin Center. So I'm in my Teams Admin Center. 
on the left hand side under voice you can find call part policies you can edit an existing policy or you can create a new policy. This will give you an option to allow car, allow call park option, call pickup start range, and in time and park timeout options as well. Calling policies in Microsoft Teams help you determine which calling and call forwarding feature will be available to your users. Let's go and explore how to enable a call calling policy. I'm on my Teams Admin Center. Under Voice, you can find calling policies. I'm going to modify an existing policy to show you what are the options available. You have, option to, you have an option available to make private calls, call forwarding, voicemail, inbound call routing, inbound call routing, Busy on busy, PST and calling, etc. Caller ID policies in Microsoft Teams can help you change or block the caller. It is set up by default so that when a Teams user calls a PST and phone, their phone number is visible. Caller ID policies are managed in Microsoft Teams Admin Center in Voice section. Let's go and find out how to do that. So I'm in my Teams Admin Center. Under Voice, you can click on Caller ID Policies. I'm going to modify an existing Caller ID policy. This is where you have options like Block Incoming Caller ID, Override the Caller ID Policies, Replace the Caller ID, and Replace the Caller ID with a service number. The Direct Routing Health dashboard can help you monitor the connection between your session motor, the connection between your SBC and direct routing interface. This can give you details like your overall health, detailed information about your SBC and network effectiveness ratio. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about Microsoft Teams add-on licensing. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.